Today on the Point Blank Performance YouTube channel, we got flex pop, we got jack stands. What do we have going on? My 2012 is strapped to the Mustang Dyna. We're after numbers. That's right, we're after that 1,000 HP. The word in the diesel industry, a thousand horsepower ain't shit, right? Well, it's not about what your buddy has, but it's more importantly about what you have. And today, I've got my 2012 strapped to the dyno fighting for that number. More importantly, we have our exhaust manifold installed on the truck. That's right, we're doing R&D and testing on it. You look at this manifold and you go, hey man, when I pop the hood on my 6.7, mine doesn't look like that. That's right, because this manifold is for the second gen swap guys. Exactly what I have installed underneath the hood. The S400, we got a big charger underneath there. Now guys, what's a manifold do? Simply transfers heat from your cylinder head to your turbo charger. Spools it, gets it ready to go, right? Simple as that. How's ours made? We take two halves of 1018 cold roll steel, machine it inside our CNC here at Point Blank. We also have our T4 flange that's a high flow. And we can feed all the horsepower to that turbo charger. Take all that, weld it together, boom, you're making power. Guys, we've got our truck powered by our C4 HP package. Let's get this thing warmed up and check out the build. Our 2012 Dodge Cummins is powered by our C4 HV package. What's this mean to you guys? For fueling, we have a dual fueler setup. In the case, a 12 millimeter dynamite diesel CP3. We have a stock CP3 up top. For fueling on injectors, we have 250% over dynamite diesel injectors. What about air? On air, we have an S480. It's a billet charger by forces induction. 80 millimeter up top, a 93 turbine, and a 110 AR. Keep in mind, it's still a T4 setup. We do have a 188 220 camshaft in it, and we have our race cylinder head installed on the truck. Now guys, everything together, we got a shitload of fuel. The only thing we're limited in is on air. Our manifold's gonna do the job to get air to the turbocharger. What will it put down? It's dyno time. So we got our starting point. Where do we end up on horsepower? 900 rear wheel horsepower. Peak torque, 1,288. How fast was that run? 3.7 seconds. 3.7 seconds. How far did I spin this truck? All the way to 3,900 RPMs. Our peak torque and our peak horsepower landed at 3,600 RPMs. I'm feeling pretty good. You can see we got a shitload of fuel our air were a little bit limited, but the most important thing to point out, because a thousand horsepower ain't shit, is this truck is really hard to just take out and go drive and dial in. Did you hear that limiter up top, that bub up? There's a limiter up there, the fuel went down and it went come back up. So we gotta dial that in. So we'll be able to accomplish that as well. But now let's actually look at the run from start to finish. All right, this is where I started my run at 2750. I started it late in the RPMs, why? because it still has stock rods in it and I want them to stay inside the engine. Then I ran the truck all the way out here to 4,000 RPMs. And keep in mind, it done that in 3.7 seconds. Yay, right? Now guys, I know we have a limiter inside the truck, meaning in the tuning, we gotta get that lined out. There's only so many cookies inside that jar and I really don't wanna blow this damn thing up before I get done testing our manifold. I wanna see if we put on our new manifold. So that's a Mark II that you've just seen. We're gonna put on our Mark III. It's a bigger manifold just to put it like it is. Will we lose horsepower? Will we gain horsepower? Will our torque fall off? Or will we actually achieve that 1000 HP mark? We're gonna give it the same pulse width. We're gonna give it the same timing. We're gonna give it the same RPM run, 2750, 3900, call it a day. Can we hit 1000 horsepower? It's dyno time.
So the truck's cooling down on the dyno. You guys heard it just as well as me. We still got a limiter up top, and we'll get to that soon. Right now, we got a billet product we manufacture here in-house, that we're running a promo code this Friday all the way to next Friday. What is it? Our T4 billet oil drain. We drop the paper gasket and we add a high temp silicone o-ring. We've been testing on my truck because the EGTs are hot as hell on it. So if we're going to melt it, we're going to melt it on that one. We've got a dash tin on the bottom. That's big enough for the T4 and T6 turbochargers. This Friday, all the way to next Friday, pointblankperformance.com, you get $5 off each and every oil drain. Not limited to just one, but as many as you want. Type in the promo code chasing just like we're chasing that thousand rural horsepower speaking of that thousand rural horsepower let's go to the graph and check out that horsepower small recap on our mark ii exhaust manifold we did that run in 3.7 seconds our peak horsepower and peak torque landed right at 3700 rpms we had 900 rural horsepower and 1288 feet pound of torque now let's compare the data we are going to what we just ran and then we're going to the mark ii now the fun part, now to compare. To decipher this graph for you guys, the filled in line is the Mark III, what I just ran. The faint line is the Mark II. You can see the gap between the two. We're getting there. Okay, so now let's start, let's pick two places. Let's go at 2,900 RPMs and let's compare data. 2,900, right? We're getting into some power. 2,900, our Mark II exhaust manifold, on the horsepower made 239 rural horsepower 239 cool our mark three that we just ran made 388 so roughly 150 rural horsepower more on our new manifold now let's get into some big power so now let's go to this 3600 let's go to 3600 and let's compare apples to apples turbo charges boosted up we're good to go on the Mark II, the previous manifold, it made 795 rural horsepower. The Mark III that we just ran made 865, about 70 horsepower more. So 70 horsepower at the same exact RPM, 3488. What about torque? The Mark II, the previous manifold, made 1196. The Mark III that you guys seen made 1303, 100 feet pound of more so we're getting there what do we end up making because we're kicking ass all along through the graph but we want to see that end result that end result ended at this we made 880 rural horsepower lost 20 we gained a little bit of torque 1310 because we were on our way to kick that one's ass right and our run was a little bit slower 4.43 seconds but our power came in sooner at 3500 rpms instead of 37. So here's the big picture in the truth. The truck has the same exact tuning on it. You guys heard the limiter before, the limiter later. We do not have the limiter out of it. I want to run the exact same file, that way the numbers wouldn't be skewed. And again, we're only running one time of each. So guys, ultimate story is this. We're not going to be running that same exact file in it. We are going to change up the timing. We're going to add some rail pressure to it. We've got a shitload of smoke. I'm going to change out to a bigger charger. I'm going to get on the phone with Force Inductions and say, hey, give me a bigger turbine. I'm still going to stay with an 80. Let's let this bitch eat. So, guys, we are going to reflash the truck. We're going to swap out. We're going to start backwards. We're going to go with the Mark III. We're going to max it out. We're going to hit that 1,000 rural horsepower. And then we're going to put the Mark II so we can give them an even gauge. So, hopefully, you guys are having just as much as fun as we are here at the shop. We're trying to accomplish a couple things. One, we're trying to R&D and test a product here in-house on the dyno so you guys can see what it actually puts down. Number two, maybe you've got your Cummins modified, but you haven't pushed it to its limits yet because you're afraid of, well, can I actually hit that 1,000 horsepower? Keep in mind, this truck still has stock rods in it, and I'm going to push it to that 1,000 horsepower. So, that way... Maybe if you grab a manifold, some other products, put it all together, go to a dyno event, bust out that thousand horsepower, the girl of your dreams, you bust that out, and y'all become married. It's beautiful, right? So guys, I'd love to hear from you. This is your chance to like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Maybe you've got a Cummins, maybe you've put that thousand horsepower down on a T4 exhaust manifold. Drop them below, drop us a comment. I'll get in there with you and holler back. Also, check out the website. Got new merch, new billet products. 
Like, subscribe. We'll see you back here next week at the Point Blank Performance YouTube channel.